Hi, I'm Pete Tong. Welcome to Fast Tracks, this special New Year's edition. We're digging in the crates again to find two of the best videos from the last 12 months. I'll also have an extremely hot bootleg for you, and I'll be giving you some weekend maneuvers for this special time of year, and speaking exclusively to a man who makes very good records. That man is Mr. Eric Prids. Now the theme to all of our music on this week's show is, is around the kind of bootleg idea. This record started out as a bootleg uh, back at the Miami Winter Music Conference in 2006. It was the one that fused David Guetta's Love Don't Let Me Go together with The Egg's magnificent Walking Away, the Toka Disco remix. It's important that they get credit for this as well. Uh, you know the tune. Enjoy it. Now, keeping with our bootleg theme, uh, this record started out as an underground hit, became an international number one, and became probably one of the most bootleg records of the year. It's Feli Legrand coming out of Amsterdam in Holland, and put your hands up for just about anything you damn well like. Now our third tune, our upfront tune, is indeed the hottest bootleg around at the moment. No one has it apart from me, the guy who made it, and now you on your little device there. It's uh, Chris Lake fused with Daft Punk's Around the World. It's changes around the world. It's great. Now, if you're determined not to give your body a breather after the festive excesses of Christmas and New Year, then I suggest you get your uh, underworked backside down to Turnmills on the 6th of January to witness SOS. It's a Turnmills uh, free members party, which means, yes, if you're a member, you don't have to pay. Uh, so Desert Masiello, Omid 16B, and Demi will be uh, whipping up a little early storm for 2007. Over at Pasha in London on the uh, 6th of January, I can tell you that Tim Sheridan and the Soul Avengers will be celebrating the club's fifth birthday. And now, a little chat with that guy that makes very good records. It's Mr. Eric Prids. Here on Fast Tracks, I'm pleased to welcome Mr. Eric Prids to the show. Thank you. Uh, an amazing year, again, I have to say. Uh, just tell us the story of that, that, that Pink Floyd record proper education. I first saw you play it for the space opening in Ibiza. But. Yeah, um, I mean it was just a record that I made um, as a DJ tool basically in the beginning. I wanted to have like a you know, secret weapon in my DJ set. I made it sort of February this year or something like that and I, I really kept it to myself in the beginning and then I gave it out to a couple of people and I mean the reaction of the record was amazing like I've I never seen anything like it really and uh, after a while we decided to try and get it cleared and we, uh, we contacted Pink Floyd and then after sort of four or five months of negotiating and stuff like that then they finally gave it thumbs up and came on board. You know I've been releasing records since like 1999 or something like that and it's always been fairly sort of underground and it's been music for the dance floors and music for the DJs and Call On Me just got out of proportion really I think. I never <laughs> expected anything like that. So it was kind of like, I was a bit surprised and a bit thrown off really. Um, so in, instead of coming with like another follow-up in the same genre or whatever, then 
I, just, I started off my two labels, Mouseville and Prida, and I just kept doing what I like, which is underground club music. And yeah, staying away from Keep Fit videos. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's a nice way it's come around again. I mean, it's a cool. It's a, the, the best records of all are ones that are actually really, really cool and, and then cross over anyway. I suppose. Yeah, thanks. You're kind of known as the forefront of the, the kind of leader, the first person to really emerge out of Stockholm, the Swedish mafia, or whatever. But you don't really like flying, do you? So you're here in London. Do you keep in touch with the guys back in back in Stockholm? Yeah, of course we do. It's, I mean, it's my friends. Um, I wouldn't say. I'm sort of part of the Swedish house mafia thing. I, I know that they, they sort of do gigs under that name and stuff. Um, I, I'm more sort of doing my own thing here in London with, with Pride and Mouseville and that sort of stuff. So, But yeah, I mean, we keep in touch. You know, every time I'm in Stockholm, we hang out and you know, it's my friend. Good luck with the record. I believe it's out right at the beginning of January, 2007. Yeah, 1st first, yeah, first of January. Okay, fingers crossed for number one. Yeah. All right, Eric Priest, thank you. Thanks, mate. That's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Happy New Year to you. We can't squeeze anything else in. I'll see you next week.